Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 44 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, today, we've got a pack update just came out, a bunch of little tweaks and changes. Uh, specifically, uh, I want to call out that Force infused biofuel is no longer made in the mixer. In fact, I don't think many things are made in the mixer at all. Uh, and it's all going to be moved to the thermonomatic press. So I'm going to actually tear down my mixer. I don't really need it anymore. Uh, so A, I'll get back some of the resources that were uh, spent on it. But B, it just, it just, it's taking up space. I don't need it. It's all good. We're cool. All right. No more, no more mixer. Goodbye, mixer. You did fine. You were a good, you were a good mixer while you lasted. But, you know, we don't need you no more. At least not for now. Uh, in fact, I think you may not even be able to place the mixer anymore. I think it's, it's not, it's not, it's not doable. I might wind up then replacing it with my new fancy fabrication matrix. Now, I have no idea what this multi-block looks like, um, but let's see. So I think if I want to look up Eisenium Dust, can I click this now? Oh, hello. There we go. Now I can see the structure. Okay. Neat. All right. So let me, oh, hello. That's cool. Okay. I see how that works. I get it. I get it. I was trying to understand like how to get that view the thing going, uh, but that makes sense. Okay, cool. So now we can see what that structure looks like. Cool. All right. Uh, so let's get building this thing, right? Cool. I guess you wear off after a while. Or maybe just because I placed the block wrong. I don't know. We'll find out. All right, so you're gonna go here, and then we're gonna get the tanks on the sides, and then it looks like, cool. And then is it is it this? Is that right? I'm guessing that's it. Wasn't there, wasn't there a Vibrant Quartz class that goes somewhere too? There kind of was. Uh, Isnium. So that was the Steel Pillar, the Fluid Tank, the Energizer, seven Vibrant Quartz glass, and the Mechanical Mixer. Are you cool now? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Do you need your power coming in here, by the way? You might need your power coming in here. That would be a little bit of a noise, but I could make it happen. Could probably make it happen. Let's get some MV stuff going on for a sec. And then once I figure out how this thing works, we'll like position it a little bit better. Seems reasonable, right? Boop a doop. Very dire wire. Okay. So now you're saying if I take 16 silver dust and some liquid force. We can get Isnium. See what happens, right? Liquid force. Steel pillar. Fluid tank, energizer, seven vibrant quartz. But when I click it, it doesn't let me see it anymore. I'm going to go on a limb and assume that those vibrant quartz are in somehow going to be like this, right? That's that's just a very safe bet. Am I wrong? I feel like that's a pretty safe bet. <laughs> hey, look how safe that bet was. Look how safe that bet was. That was not That was not a bad bet. That was a good bet. That was a very safe bet. Look at that. Uh, so note that it consumes both the silver dust and the liquid force before it's done crafting. So be careful with that. Be aware. Be aware. All right. Look at that go. All right. And I'm pretty sure this is going to... So he could just be smelted in any old way. Um, that, that should be fine. Oh, we're draining power. Hooray! Why is the Amingots? Nice! Hey, we did it! We did the thing! Sweet! Alright, so I can remove all this from my to-do, and then we can get back to making our Tier 4 Crusher that I've been wanting to make, right? Um, so... What do you got going on for me here? I could probably get three more of this stuff. That seems like a good deal. I should, I should rewire this a little bit so that it's a little less derpy. What I'll probably do is run the wiring underground. 
Um, that seems like a smart move, right? I like that move. Do you think I could like, are you done? You're done. Thank you. Do you think there's any chance that I could hit that dude? Stop. Thank you. Happens all the time. There we go. Woo! Survived. All right. Like you, Broom. I do. But also, ouch. What are the chances that this will reach over to here without too much of a fuss? Oh, well, that's not bad. It actually worked. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Um, so now... You're cool. You can smelt. And that is slightly less dire wire, right? Works for me. Works for me. All right, fabrication matrix. Sweet. Uh, now this thing's gonna allow me to do all kinds of stuff, I think. Um, so aside from combs, it'll let me get like, stuff I assume. I'm sure there's something extremely exciting in here. Um, polished rose quartz can turn into, ooh, annihilation cores. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. So six lead plates with liquid concrete. Okay, that's cool. What else we got going on? The Isnium thing. Charged surges quartz and energized glowstone gets formation cord. So definitely some recipes, right? Um... Sentient steel turns into stabilized void ingot. Okay. Pixie dust turns into liquid elemental void. Sweet. Okay. Ah, uh, some complex stuff to be sure. So let's get uh, you turned into... Oh, good. We are cool now. Great. And then emerald. And then diamond. And then gas here, which I'm pretty sure I can just make like that. Perfect. Yeah, that's what's up. So does that mean like we're good to go on this whole like tier four summon thing? Because that sounds awesome. Let's do it. Started summoning. Marid Ore Crusher. Nice. Um... So mob imprisonment tool with nothing in it. You're with me, buddy. Yoinks. And you can get put away. And then let's get some like raw something. What do we have like not a lot of? We could always use more. Let's get some more aluminum. Does that sound cool? Okay. Um, and then I suspect you're gonna be a minute. Uh, so let's come back. Yeah, in about a minute when that's done. All right, check it out. We've got our tier. Four, Crusher, ready to roll. So you're going to go live here. And then I'm going to put my dash in there. Look how fast that is. And it's a 6x multiplier. So it's really fast and it multiplies by 6. That is awesome. That is really awesome. So that's a good time. All right. Sweet. It's going to be a lot of dash. Like a lot of dash. That is so good. It's going to be like a monumental amount of ore that we get from that. Highly recommend if you're playing this pack, spend the time in occultism to get this XX multiplier, dude, because it's just, it is what's up. Okay. Woo. That is cool. We should probably start looking at like uh, what's going on now. Uh, so in terms of tier two, uh, we are pretty much done. I kind of want to just like knock out these two recipes, although they do take a little bit of effort. Um, more of that springling stuff. You know what would be cool? Well, first off, let's go do this. How big of a deal is this going to be? Um, definitely draining. Definitely draining. 
I'm going to put these in here and just let that thing do its thing. And you're spinning, making them one and a half thousand RF per tick. So not bad. Not at all bad. Um, cool. So we're, ready, we're getting really close to the max output of a basic energy cube. I'm feeling like mechanism might be the, the next course of action for us. Um, I'm going to hold off on these as much as I kind of want to just see like the green name in chapter two. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, let's see. X Nilo, that stuff's all pretty well progressed. So you want me to get what? Um, that stuff. Do I have some prismarine shards? I guess I don't. Okay, cool. Do I get anything good for that reward? I kind of want to, like, you know, shore up a few quest things. Not really. Right? If I do this. Wow, these things are still still tier one. That is hilarious. All right. Uh, so if I wanted this, it's going to be waterlogged sand. Just get some so we have it. Is that cool? Nothing. There you go. So you go away. In fact, you also can go away. I'm done with you guys for a moment. And this thing. And you guys. And you. That seems cool. Quest complete. Hooray! Chapter completed. X nil. Nice! That's what I was kind of going for. Uh, powering up. I think we're okay on RF production. At some point I might want to go this route. At some point I might want to get some of these. But we're going to have to amp up our power gen, or our, our force rotational stuff, if we want to go that route. Right? So we're going to hold off on that. Cool. Okay. So you guys continue chilling. Let's look at, uh, is there anything else that's like, I'm curious about when I can get into like proper applied energistics, right? Um, we're going to need to get a crystallizer and then that will let us get Certus Quartz crystal, I assume. Yep. From the Certus Quartz dust, which we're currently sifting out of dust, right? We're getting, you know, not a huge amount, but some. Uh, now we can also get these dudes uh, potentially... Yeah, we can set this whole thing up to, like, do stuff, right? Yeah, that's a thing we can probably do at some point. Um, charged Certus Quartz comes from energizing. Got it. So once we get power going, we can get charged Certus Quartz. And that's how we'll be able to, like, really get going on some stuff. That looks pretty straightforward. Uh, logic Circuits. Uh, this looks doable, right? We can totally make that. Printed Silicon is going to require Chlorine and Polyethylene. What in the... What is happening? What is this? Is this a new is this a new toy? A new little fun thing that can happen? Okay. Was not prepared for that, friends. That must be a new thing. Brand new. I think that's new. I was not ready for that. <laughs> I was looking at quests and figuring out where to go from the yeah. air. So that's going to require um, chlorine and polyethylene. Not a lot, luckily. Um, and we'll get plenty of printed silicon from that. So we're just going to have to definitely do electrolytic separators uh, and brine. So mechanism plus power. And then we should be able to get into applied energistics, I would think. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's start on that chapter three realm, right? So we know to get into things. Oh, and then we can also get the runic altar now, I guess. So that required miniaturization crafting uh, and lots of diamonds um, and living rock stuff. Not a big deal. Um, but yeah, the, the, the runic altar is a thing we can get soon. Cool. Uh, and then fluid lasers, I believe, is how we're going to break into power. So here's the note that I figured out. We can get into my electric infuser and do a little mechanism right now. We also need to get um, power. And in order to get power, we're going to need the kerosene bucket, right? Because uh, in order to make this stuff, we need kerosene. Kerosene comes from oil, which we can get from a laser fluid drill in a whitelisted biome of orbit. So I think we're going to have to launch a rocket into orbit, build a little space station up there, 
And that's where we're going to set up some kind of laser fluid drill to get stuff. Does that sound cool? Kind of sounds fun. I'm a little bit excited about having to do that. I've always wanted like a reason to build a space station. So yeah, that sounds awesome to me. That sounds like really awesome to me. Um, this looks totally doable. Any glass pane in that should be easy. Um, making these components fluid laser base looks straightforward enough. We will have to get some netherite scrap, but we can get that from sifting now, right? With our springaline infused stuff. Uh, pink slime is gonna have to be a thing. Um, so that we're gonna have to do a mob slaughter factory for, right? And get get pink slime processing. So we already have kind of a dark room. Uh, we can definitely um, just remove the spikes uh, and make it do pink slime and liquid meat. Could be cool. So that's, you know, a little bit of what we're gonna have to do, right? And then the this thing is we've made these before, so not a big deal. Cool. So all 100% doable, right? I would say. So where do we want to start? That's a good question. Uh, that is a really good question. Kind of, kind of want to go the kerosene and energizing orb route. I kind of feel like that would be cool, right? Do we have an urgent need for mechanism? I don't know that we do. Like, it sounds like it would be cool to do, right? Um, so this guy, by the way, um, what's your prerequisite? Ice Neum Dust Metallurgic Infuser. Okay, cool. Right, okay. And then Platinum is infused diamond into Ice Neum equals Platinum. Got it. Got it, got it. And then Osmium comes from... Um, there's a thing for Osmium. Here it is. Centrifugal Separator. Platinum Dust has a... 15% chance to turn into osmium dust. Got it. So osmium's like pretty gated in this pack, like pretty pretty low chance. I'm hoping that there's a better source of osmium at some point than that, uh, but we'll see what happens. If I have to automate that whole process I just went through with the osmium dust and whatnot, we can. All right, so let's do this. I think I'm gonna do the oil thing first. That sounds fun to me, so I wanna do that. So let's get into it. Uh, so for the fluid laser base, first thing we're going to really need is pink slime and a mob slaughter factory. So let's get that set up. Deal? So mob slaughter factory should be relatively easy based on my current sequence of resources. Cool. We're just going to need some gold gears. And then we're going to need um, a couple iron swords and a couple iron axes. Cool. Now for the gold gear, um, I think it would behoove me to get... The metal press for gears only because it will be easier to make it's a it's a nuisance to manually craft a bulk a number of gears being able to metal press them will be cool so all i need is three steel sheet uh and the immersive blueprint swap 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 and then cutter wires and then we want the gear print metal press mold gear got it good cool you go away swap 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 And then over here, we can swap this out, put you away. Much better than what we were doing with the whole uh, manually placing things and things thing. Cool. Okay. Uh, now, as it relates to a dark room, uh, we just need to, you know, do the thing. Um, super good question. Also, how are you doing, buddy? Oh, look at all the amethyst we get. And we are only getting amethyst, so that's cool. I was curious about whether we'd be getting more than just amethyst, and it looks like the answer is no. Sweet. All right, now I wonder if when mobs die, if this will pick up the mob slaughter factory killing them. That is a question that I do not have an answer to. What I'm going to do is expand this dude. Okay, um, and then we can stick this guy like right here with a range upgrade. Do we have any of those from four going? Uh, let's get like a tier four ish. Does that sound cool? That sounds cool. Yeah, that's good. Iron. Yeah. Okay, so bucket, disillusion chamber, nice and empty. Good. Two redstone, four iron nugget, and some glass panes.
Iron nuggets. Sweet. That'll be that. Uh, in terms of powering this thing, good question. Um, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, and then also we're probably going to want to have a trash can for fluids. That seems smart. And I'm hoping, I forget exactly how pipes work for mechanism, but my hope is that um, they are super cool and know that they should fill their first available inventory. All right, so my hope is that by doing this, they'll fill up, you know, whichever spots they can before they fill up the trash can. Cool. Uh, now in terms of power, I should probably look at running my my wires all the way over here again. Should I have another approach to doing that? Or should I just, you know, run wires all the way over there? Um, probably just run wiring over there. Yeah, probably. Okay, uh, MV. Relays, connectors, insulated cables. Give me another one of these. Um, needs more Electrum. Looking good. MV wire relay. There you go. So you can run up to you, which I assume can run to you, no problem. which can probably run. Let's get a pole for this. Isn't that what they're called? Post, post. I always forget the name of these things. About here, sound cool? Looks good to me. Okay. So now that works. What I wouldn't mind is more cursed, uh, more cursed earth. Right, uh, can be traded from wandering trader. Is that really the only way we get it? We have to like wait for another wandering trader to show up. A little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, wouldn't mind more of that stuff. Because this is a little bit slow, this whole mob spawner setup thing. I'm going to leave some of these over here. My goodness, there's a lot. Yeah, so he is still doing that. I might want to just remove the spikes for a sec. That way, we'll definitely get our pink slime and meat. Now, if I remember correctly, don't we get um, don't we get more pink slime from passive mobs, or is it? Don't do that, liquid meat. Did we get any pink slime? We didn't really. All right, we're just gonna have to be patient for a minute. I'll come back after I get a little bit. Deal. Let's see what happens if I put a cow in there. Oh, you know what? <laughs> That's probably what's happening. All right, get me a pink. Can you not with the... It's gonna be annoying. I guess what I need to do is move him down to there. You all went in here, didn't you? Yup. Okay, so we'll put this dude here with the MV 
here. Okay. And then are you going to do your thing with a range upgrade? Yep, pink slime. Hooray! All right, we're back. So uh, just doing a little bit of prep here. Uh, so what we need to get is the following. Uh, if we want to get these 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 components together. So we need simple machine frames, which is going to need some more Duroplast sheets, which I'm pretty sure I'm out of. I think I used the last of a little bit ago. Uh, not a big deal, though, because we can get some acetylhydrine to get phenolic resin. So we're going to need three buckets. So let me get, like, in fact, two more silver sets here. I'm going to do this many for silver. It's nice having easier access to silver now because there's, like... We need a lot of this particular resource uh, lately, and uh, being able to get silver easier than we were previous to this has been huge for us. Um, so six buckets of this, and then four buckets of latex in the fluid mixer. So that should be cool. Good deal. I only wish I could make the fluid mixers a little bit faster, but not the end of the world. Um, and hey, look at this. They made the machine frames give you two instead of just one at a time now. That's nice. I appreciate that. That was my suggestion. I was like, you know what? You need a lot of these machine frames, especially in that like middle zone. Like I was making a lot of them. It's like, you know, just give me two of them instead of one. And that might just make things a little like smoother. And it absolutely did. So cool beans there. All right. So now you're cooking up this, right? Oh, yeah. You know what? Actually, I doubled it. So that will have even more Duroplast sheets then. That's fine. Cool. All right. Uh, speaking of you and you and you. Right? Uh, we're probably going to want some more of this stuff. So are you almost done? Eh, you got another minute left. How are we for steel? I did this. That would be cool. And how are we for iron? I was going to get another stack of them, to be honest with you. Alright, so for machine frames, we're going to need two light engineering blocks. Let me get, like, five sets of this. Does that sound cool? Sounds cool to me. Um, so we're going to need 10 of these in total. I'll get a few more just to be safe for later. And eight. two, and that many. Cool. Okay, and then we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more of these, and then one, two, three, four of these, so that I can get this many, and then I can get this many, and that'll be that and that cool and then you just need a bunch of steel so if i want uh five sets i would need 20 uh steel cool okay and remind me which one's on top i always forget redstone on top boom 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 This, 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 this. Cool. All right, I need you to do your thing. I see you go. Awesome. Uh, did that work? What did I do wrong? You, you, you. You, you. Is it steel or is it compressed iron? Did I get the wrong thing? Oh, yeah, compressed iron. My bad. I mix those two up sometimes. What do you want from me? Perfect. Now, uh, I'm going to get the rest of the... Like, I'm going to make more of these off camera, right? Uh, probably between episodes here. So now the acetylhydrine, um, we're going to take you. Okay. And then we're going to want eight buckets of latex. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So 12 to 8 is the ratio um, that we're going to go with for phenolic resin, right? And then we can get our duroplast sheets uh, with paper. Okay. In a fluid encapsulator. Okay, I've got volatile redstone. I don't know why I have like a smallish amount. Can that like be Can I that and just clear that away? Am I wrong about this? Apparently I am. Or maybe I'm not. Uh, I guess so. Volatile redstone. You can either be used to fluid encapsulate. I guess I could do that volatile substrate stuff, but we need like, you know. Uh, and then 100 millibuckets and a fractioning still. So yeah, that'll actually clear it all out. So that works for me. Cool. All right, so then you can do that. Two. Three. Sweet. Okay. And then your job, dissolution chamber, uh, will be to get... Uh, so ultimately what I'm trying to get is one of these so that I can get the fluid laser base, remember? And then I'm going to get a bunch of laser drills to kind of, you know, make it bring up oil faster. Um, and then I'm going to have to look at, can I do ender tanks yet? I feel like I was close to having ender tanks before. So like I should be able to, so Striker's higher binding. We need the Afrit essence. We need ender drawers, which needs mana steel plates. It needs proto chorus, which needs quantum fluid. That's all doable. Um, source. Uh, we needed the Skystone tank. That's right. And Skystone is pure daisied moonstone. So, yes, we can do ender tanks now. Yes, we should absolutely put ender tanks on the to-do list. I remember I remember the challenge now with ender tanks and why why that was tricky, right? So, for this, we're going to need 250 millibuckets of latex. So, let's try and get four at a time. Um, so, that seems uh, pretty easy to me. So, what I'll do is just bing, bang, boom. Boop, 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 boop. Boop. I'm gonna have to thank the FDB team for giving me two of these per craft because that's I mean it just it just it is such a quality of life improvement in my uh, very humble opinion okay so you're gonna go in here we're gonna make four of these right ultimately uh, so we're gonna need you we're gonna need two duroplast plates right um, am I remembering this correctly am I remembering this correctly yes that and then two latex two steel and some gold gears and luckily, gold gears are pretty easy thanks to the changes I just made over here. I will have to get a better way of making that. Like, the hopper thing not working is bugging me a little bit. Um, I thought you used to be able to do that as a hopper. And it would, like, it would like queue it up. What, am, I, am I remembering that incorrectly? Am I thinking of a different one of these? I honestly don't know. Uh, and then some latex, and then some steel, we said, right? Not plates, though. All right, so you've got your bucket of latex, so we're going to do one, we're going to do two, 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 and one. And that's it, right? Perfect. Cool, 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 cool. And then you're going to get more of that, okay? Two, one, two, two, and one. Two and two, sweet. Right, so now we have a bunch of these ready to go. Two, one, two and two. So that's four of those ready. I'll make the rest off camera. Uh, and then the, the new thing for me is the advanced machine frame. That's the one I've never had before. Uh, and for that, um, I might just get the bucket. Let me just do the bucket. It, it, I'm sure I'll use another advanced machine frame at some point in my life. Right, because um, these are 500 millibuckets, so we're going to want two of these. We're going to want four nether scrap, four gold, and two diamond gears, which I assume I can make like this. Sweet. All right, so one of you... One of you, 
couple latex. We need to check on netherite scrap if I have any for gold is what I'm gonna need. But only two for now. Oh good, I do have some netherite scrap. Sweet. Cool, so that'll be you. And it'll be two, 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 one, one. Beautiful. Advanced machine frames get. So what I'm going to do is wrap up here. Next episode, we'll come back and we're going to go off to orbit. Okay. Once we get up into orbit, uh, we should have a much better time um, getting oil. And that'll be cool. Uh, we're going to need to get some power up there. Uh, I might start with a peat generator. I'm not sure. So we'll see. But like when we come back next episode, we'll kind of figure out everything we need to bring and do it. Right. We'll get everything ready. Uh, we'll get ready for um, making making what I want to make. All right. So for now, uh, wrapping up point, Donald 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to get into outer space and start getting oil. And once we start getting oil, then we'll have access to like better and cooler stuff, um, including eventually getting into power and then eventually, eventually getting into applied energistics. All right. For now, Donald 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.